Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go ahead and film my Project Pan Roulette update number three. This is also a nine by New Year's and a collab with Courtney K and Emily R here on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pro products here in a minute, but I wanted to explain to you, I've done a couple of videos and I haven't explained, and Emily I know explains in every one of her videos, but if you haven't seen a Project Pan Roulette, it is basically where you choose topics for products that you're going to pull. So you choose them at random, kind of like, obviously like a roulette, and you put them in a bowl or a basket or a box or something like that, and you pick them. And then when you get that topic, you choose what product you're gonna use for the project for that topic. So it's things like your least favorite perfume or your favorite lip product, a pink lip product, green eyeshadow, just a pro like a product in your least favorite color, just kind of things like that if you haven't seen them before. So what we did to make it a collab is we did a list of topics and sent them to each other and then we each made little slips of paper from those topics and then we chose from that. So that's how we made it a collab. And so Courtney K and Emily R are doing this with me. They're doing fantastic with their projects. They have actually finished several products for like the intents of the project. We've kind of set goals because it was only a two month project. So some products they finished and some pro products they've hit their goal on and put in new products in place of those. So they're like rocking this project. I've only had a couple that I've actually finished my goal on, but I feel like I chose some difficult products for myself. So I'm just focusing on progress and seeing where I can get with that. So um, please go ahead and check out Emily and Courtney's videos. I'm going to link them down below if you haven't seen them yet in following my channels. I know I do have some new subscribers that may not have um, seen my collaboration with those girls. Sorry, hubby came in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this by showing you the products that I have hit my goal on and then what I replaced those products with. So this was my elf tone correcting powder and this was a face product that i chose i have made a little bit more progress on this i think uh, it's hard for me to tell but i'll go ahead and post a picture of the last update and what it looked like then and when i finished this up i went ahead and chose a, another product and that was my lip product of my choosing and when i went ahead and started this project i chose 11 topics so i already had two topics sitting aside for if I finished anything up. So one of them was my lip lip product of my choosing and I chose the MAC Nymphet Lip Glass, which you can see I already had some progress on because this is not from this project. Um, I marked everything on index cards because this is going to go back to MAC. So this is basically um, my update on this. That was where I started and then that is where I am now with this product. The next thing that I f hit my goal on was this Urban Decay shadow in the color Last Call. And this was for a, what was it, festive fall or winter color. And this is Urban Decay Last Call. Um, I am not going to do swatches. I did swatches in my last video of this color, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and do a swatch. So that's what that color looks like. It's kind of like a cranberry color. And so when I finished that, I filled it in with this OPI nail lacquer in the color Hotter Than You Pink. And this was a topic that was just a nail color or a nail polish. And so that is that. I've started here and I am down to here now. The next product I have is not... Able, I'm not able to show you any progress on and this is my MAC Zoom, Fa Zoom Fast Black Lash and this was just a mascara and this is still working for me. It's still going kind of strong. It's not as 
um, wet of a formula as it was before, but that's kind of how mascaras go. They kind of go through those cycles. So this is the mascara that I have in this project. The next product I have is a cream eye product, and this is the Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadow in the color 0409 for fairies. And I'm going to post or pop up a picture of how this looked at the last one, but there's not going to be any difference at all. This is how this looks now. I've started using this with my finger because um, the brush just isn't working anymore, but that's, that's the color, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. And the lighting is not doing it any kind of justice. Plus, I think it's mixed with the um, Urban Decay Last Call. But I have swatched it in some other videos. But I think the lighting in that was off too. It made it really metallic and shiny, which it is. But um, you can't really see the actual color of it. The next topic is actually just an eyeshadow and I chose a color out of the Naked 2 because I thought it was going to actually be easy to use as a crease shade and it just really hasn't shown any progress at all. But there is that, it's the color Tease from the Naked 2 palette. The next product is my favorite body spray or perfume, and that is my Coconut Passion by Victoria's Secret. And as you can see, I was here at the last update two weeks ago, and now I am here. The next product is my Jessica Simpson Fancy Perfume, and I made a goal for myself to finish right down through Fancy, and I feel like I'm getting kind of close, and I feel like I made more progress um, than I actually did here, but this, I can't get it to stay straight, but that second to the last line is the last two week update, and then here is where I am now, and so I feel like I'm getting kind of close to that fancy there. I didn't really make a goal for this product, but I know I'm not going to finish it, so I'm just going to make as much progress as I can. I actually don't know if I'm going to kind of stick to these goals at this point because now we really only have another two weeks till the end of this project and I'm not really going to add anything back in because of how close we are to the end. So we'll see. Um, the next product is a product I've already hit pan on and this is my Nivea Lip Butter and Caramel Cream Kiss and I'm going to pop a picture of how this looked at the last update up on the screen. This is always hard to see, but as you can see, I cleared out the top part there. So now there's two divided parts. And I have been forgetting to use this at night the last probably week or so, which is over half the time since this last update. So I'm going to try and get better at this and try and use this up by the six month mark next year. I'm trying to use this up in six months and we'll see how that goes. And the very last product that I have is a matte product. Mac, matte product. <laughs> and this is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the color Lovecraft and it is what I'm wearing today. I'm not gonna stick this up against the, the card but I will show it to you. This is what it looks like. And my goal for this was kind of to get halfway down the Kat Von D emblem there. And I know that's not going to happen but I'm going to get as far as I absolutely can. And I will go ahead and show you I don't know where the card for that product is. I just had it a little bit ago, but it's really like a very minuscule amount of progress. I'll go ahead and show it at the finale update and see how much progress I've made since um, this time because I have marked it. I did have it today. I just don't have it to show on camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and film my. They're doing fantastic with their pro projects. They put in several products because they finished several up. So um.
Um, I need to run and get my other product.